Hello and welcome back to another episode of Dawn of Man. <clears throat> now in this episode we are going to be focusing on expansion. So we're expanding our little um, uh, little base, our little camp uh, in this direction. So we want to have a bunch of towers over here and of course uh, a, maybe perhaps a gate. <laughs> kind of wondering where I should put a gate though. Uh, the towers are going to go here, here and here based on the corners. Uh, so we're expanding in this direction because we this is basically a cleared out space There's nothing here anymore and we can build a bunch more of these huts which of course we have to do because we want to expand our population we're currently sitting on 40 we have two more slots available for two more people um it's it is the middle of winter so it's not a brilliant idea to uh to go outside too much so i don't want to have my people build too much but considering that we have everything for, we need for our huts and so on and for our Watchtowers. I need, I need. I need more. I need more logs. Actually, <laughs> actually, I have a lot of logs. The problem is that um, there's not much, not many trees over in this direction. So we have to just, you know, we have to get further. We have to go further and further for trees, which makes it slower to deliver. Um, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe we can take some of these logs on this, these, uh, these, this wall here, and use that to build our little towers. Um, the towers are necessary because we are in the copper age and that means um, copper smelting which means of course that also our uh, our little bandits and some people that try and keep on hunting us down for some reason um, they also have better weapons and they are better equipped they are faster at killing us and um, we have to catch up to them we have a survive winter we got another point beautiful so we want to get to the um, basically to the rye uh, donkey and the wheel would be better if we can get these i'm going to focus on the donkey and the wheel they can uh, they can supply us with a lot of uh, of, of speed basically <laughs> meaning it makes it much easier to drag stuff around and particularly at the moment we have uh four sledges if we have a nice little donkey like this one over here for instance dragging a cart around that makes it a little bit easier to drag around more heavy stuff but <clears throat> focus we have to focus first we want to have copper and copper comes from the ground <laughs> obviously um so we want to put a mine down for that we need to get one of these this is a copper ore i'm trying to look for a copper ore it's a little bit closer than than those and there's one over here uh, across the river uh which is perfectly viable trouble is it's, it's just a little bit yeah, it's a little bit too far so if i wanted to have a copper mine over here and I get attacked by a bunch of um, a bunch of bandits coming from that direction. My people that are working there will have a shorter, will have a l lower chance of survival than uh, than people that are working, like for instance, in these mountains here. So I would rather have them work as golem in these mountains than have them actually work all the way back there on that mine. Hmm. <clears throat> now we've had mm, we've had bandits come from this direction before, so a mine over here would not be a very good idea. I think sheep is mislaughtered. That's not a good thing. Uh, I want to get as many sheep as possible. We only have two sheep at the moment. That makes it a little bit difficult. Let's see. Let's look at our limits. We have ten sheep limit that we have. Let's look at our animals, domesticated animals. We have one female. It's old and one old male. They haven't reproduced. It's a bit of a bummer. <laughs> You don't want to have animals that don't reproduce. That just makes them a bit, a little bit useless. All right. Well, I can't seem to find any copper ore um, veins close by, so I'm going to turn this into a mine. Go mine that, please. Oh, wait, wait, no, not like that. We want to go to uh, metallurgy copper mine. Put that over there. Bam. Build me that mine, please. I might need to make a bridge over here. <clears throat> if we can make a bridge over here, then they can cross a little bit faster. And that will make it a little bit easier. Let's go. Let's go. Put a bridge down. Transportation bridge. Put it down like so. Like there. Beautiful. Then my people that are working over here, the villagers, they can cross the river here and then get into the village faster. Make it they get to here a little bit, a bit sooner, and help the defenses. Now, <clears throat> one of the things I have over now, I have these two towers in the middle of my village, doing absolutely nothing. I'm going to leave them for now. I can remove the walls. So the thing is that be these people all... Um, well, will go, they will all go into these, these towers as many as they possibly can. 
Once they are all filled, the towers and so on, uh, the defenses are pretty much set. But they will also fill these towers. Meaning we will have four people, two in each of these towers, doing absolutely shit. <clears throat> because they can't possibly hit the, the, enemy, the enemies on this side of the wall. <clears throat> Last sheep has died. Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> now we gotta go get some more sheep. Uh, so what are you? You are a deer. No, I need a deer. I need a deer. I need a reindeer and I need a deer. If I can kill this deer, that would be great. So I'm gonna put a hunt on this guy. Make, get somebody over there. With a nice bow and arrow, please. And then we can get ourselves a nice little deer. I want the deer because it's mostly for points. I don't need it for meat because I already have like a ton of meat. I do need some more sheep though. I don't like that I don't have any sheep. So I got I got a little old wolf pup over there. I got some uh, got no mouflon in the neighborhood. What I need is some baby mouflon. Mouflon babies are the best kind of babies. Uh, don't see any mouflon babies. I got I got you here. You're another old male deer. Can also hunt you down. Well, we'll 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 try the old uh, the other deer first, and then we'll see. So there's no mouflon, no baby mouflon around here. Hmm. That's kind of a pain. So we got some more deer over here. We got some mouflon over here, but no babies. That's ibix. Don't want those. I can't. I can't see the. Those are also ibix babies. I need. What I need is, of course, uh, mouflon, but I don't see any. So that's kind of a shame. Now we also need to move these fields out of the way. This is a flax field. We want to get rid of that, but it's already been planted, so uh, that's a bit of a pain. Uh, so we can't really do that at the moment. I want to increase the size of my emmer field as well. But because everything's been planted as of right now, I, I can only move it after or um, during autumn. Because then I don't have as much of a loss. So is everything here built? I think it's almost built. So let's just continue with the walls. I need to have three over here like so. Then I need to go surround this guy like that. Finish that wall off. Bam. And then same for you. Like that. All right, excellent. Um, this little corner here, it's going to be a bit, of a bit of a problem. But we shall see. We shall see. I also need to have you surrounded by walls. So like so, and then all the way around, again on this side, like that, bam, beautiful. All right, that's good. We've got this all beautifully sorted. We have one log. <laughs> I need to move this around again, don't I? Uh, I need to add this work here. I'm going to put some more, put it a bit closer, a bit further, I mean, so they actually can chop down those trees. And uh, that's good. Okay, we've got, we've got some more. Those are just sticks. Why are you bringing sticks? Are you bringing some... All right, I, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. He was bringing some straw. Fine, it's good. All right, with all that set up, uh, I'm thinking we should now possibly, probably, start looking into building another hearth. A hearth. Uh, let's go put that down. I want one close to the center, so right there. And uh, I, I, I always want to have a hearth around all of my little hovels, little hovels. Um, so they can always uh, cook their food close by when they get a little bit hot or cold after they're rested. They can get out of their huts, cook their feet, their, their, their feet, <laughs> cook their meals, and then get straight back to work. That's what I prefer. I already, I also have a, a well here, a well there. I want to put another well over here. So this area also has continuous water. Deer has been hunted. Got another knowledge point. Beautiful. Keep that coming. Um, the wall is coming up. Let's just speed through this as we can. 500 sticks. We've got another point. It's going quite well, actually. I think we're going, we're doing okay. We just, we already got like, uh, three points in just, uh, two or three points in the last couple of minutes. Like that. I think we need some donkeys over here, aren't they? Yep, there's some donkeys. The donkeys alone. Do we need any donkeys, actually? I'm kind of wondering. Uh, we need to get one more donkey. If we can kill one more donkey, we can uh, we can get an additional point. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and select one of these donkeys. It's a wild male, wild male. Oh, this one here has some hurt on him, so we can hunt him down. We can kill him, we get another point. Ah, oh, you're dying of old age now already? <laughs> Our population is going backwards. It's not good. Alright, so that's all okay. Uh, the wall's coming up. Beautiful. We got nine logs. I think that should be enough to cover this most of this, these holes that we have here. I'm gonna cover you up as well. Alright, we got another we got the five donkeys, we got another point. Keep it up, guys. This is going quite well. And we also have this tower coming up as well. So I want to put the wall up like that. Beautiful. All right, that's all good. I think where this side is reasonably protected. The, the, the towers are reasonably close together. Um, and I think... Oh, you died again. Another person died of old age? <laughs> uh, now I'm going to... Going to in, in, uh, expand the village out in this direction. This square here is going to be taken up as well later on. And then we're going to move all the logs from inside uh, these walls and so on. And then we're going to push them outwards to these walls outside here and close it out uh, a bit faster, a bit sooner. But where are you going? You're going to the copper mine. Okay, keep it up. Keep doing that. Um, I have a bridge over here. It needs seven logs. And I think that, yeah, the mine is going to be the priority. It's going to take one more log to build it. And then I think we've got everything. Yeah, so there's somebody over here is going to come. And, oh, he's going to get the sledge instead. <laughs> somebody over there is going to build that mine. And then we can start looking into getting that copper. Now, we already have some copper ore. Uh, what we need, on the other hand, that's what this area is going to be for, um, is we need some production. So we need some metallurgy production. We need the charcoal pits. So that's what we need. We need some charcoal uh, right away. And we need um, a pit furnace. So we need a pit furnace and then we need a metal smith. So the pit furnace is what's going to be melting all of our copper. And I want I want two of you. There, there. So we'll put that together. That's going to give us one, two points, which is excellent. Uh, we got our hearth up as well. That means we can finally start looking into... Um, I want to get this done as well. It's, it's already summer, so it's probably going to start collecting some of these, uh, these plants, these um, fruits. All good. Now, I want to get this metallurgy. Um, this metalsmith. Somewhere over here in the corner. Or over there in the corner. I think that'll be a good spot. Okay, everything, as soon as this, this is all... As soon as, we, as, it's, as, uh, as soon as it's fall, we can harvest our flax move this uh, this little field outwards to over here and have that grow our flax should be excellent we don't have to worry about that anymore and then we'll have more space for more buildings because we also get rid of this this cherry tree <laughs> new human to join the settlement beautiful keep it coming we can take them oh, we got lots of sp look out well we got three space three uh three uh, empty beds at the moment. That's as maximum as far we can go. We got some people here doing absolutely nothing like he's wandering around. That's good You want that? You don't want them to do too much stuff uh, In the meantime, I don't think I have actually anything Craftable at the moment. So let's go. Uh, we got some bone. So I'm gonna put down some more bone spears so, And some more bone harpoons on that one and I want some more bone harpoons on the second craft that we had Where was that one? Uh, yeah, here we are in the corner so I want some bone here and some bone harpoons and let's see what else we can we what else could we use currently we need some more knives and some more sickles I'm gonna put some more sickles up for uh, construction and some knives charcoal furnace we got somebody else is born the Thoriad villagers now at the moment beautiful All right now the bridge is coming along nicely we just two two more logs and then that's also uh, going to go quite well, quite fast. I, I can't cut any more logs because this this area is completely <laughs> chopped up. So we're going to start focusing our attention on this area. I need these trees removed because um, we're going to be expanding that direction. So we want that area as cleared up as possible. And if we can uh, clear it up, that'll be quite nice. And then we can start moving, the, creating those those additional uh, walls here. I want to keep everything in one unit. I um. There is, of course, the option in the game 
to play with colonies. So you can have a little colony over here and you have a little colony over there. And uh, what happens is that when, um, when you get attacked, for instance, and you ring the bell, like the alert everybody kind of bell, uh, everybody runs to these towers, right? And everybody runs to the closest uh, spot they can, closest to the, uh, to the offending uh, whatever, um, to the bandits, for instance. So they, if the bandits are coming from this area, for instance, over here, and they're going to attack your colony over on this side across the water, everybody will run across the water and they will, uh, they will fill up the towers over here. A part of the group, of somehow, for some reason, will just still stay in this area here, in this town, and won't support your colony, and therefore you will have your manpower will be split in half. <laughs> I find that very annoying, so I, I stopped using the colony principle, the colony method, and I instead focused on building one massive city uh, with big ass walls. Now, I'm, as we uh, continue growing, I'm going to be uh, doubling up on these walls, making them. A, well, I'm trying to get to the stone walls as quickly as possible. Stone walls are pretty good; they can hold off. Quite a big, uh, quite a lot of beating, um, significant amount of beating, and keep your people a bit safer. Um, but what does help is uh, our, our towers. There's a lot, a lot of towers. Okay, pit furnace is ready to go. Excellent. Now the charcoal pit is going to take up logs. It's going to need logs to create charcoal, and we need gonna, we're going to need charcoal to bake uh, copper, um, copper ingots, obviously. Yeah. The trouble is that since we don't have like a ton of logs, um, but did we cut everything off? I didn't think. I don't think we cut everything. Nah. Let's just put this on three people. Actually, you know what? I'm going to just put it back to two. I'm going to have another logging area. So cut trees over here. I'm going to put two people on that. That way we can spread the wealth a little bit. We get a little bit of trees from here and a little bit of there. I need this area for expansion of our fields. And I need this for expansion of the village. So as soon as that's that's cut up, I'm going to be... And this, these are all being harvested. I'm going to move all these fields over to here. Or as soon as possible over to here. So we can harvest them from here instead of having to um, block our space here. Uh, wow, I've been doing a lot of talking. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't usually talk this much. Oh, we got some um, got some uh, traders coming in. It's nice. The bridge is not done yet. Well, what are you staring at? Why are you idling? And you just you just didn't like to do stuff. You just don't like doing things. <laughs> I think she's waiting for her husband. He's in the mine at the moment. He's the one doing the digging, and she's like, yeah, I'm going to make sure you do it properly. <laughs> All right, look, this guy's carrying some coal. Not some, not coal. I mean, copper. He's going to put it in these uh, these pit furnaces, and then we're going to have to wait for some charcoal. So this one's already got some um, copper. This one's going to need some copper. Maybe the trader has some coal for us. Yes, so we have some charcoal. It's excellent. And we want some of this copper as well. We also want to have the flour and the bread. Why not? Give it to me. Give it all. Yeah, that's 28. I have... Uh, I can give you that. Take... Uh, can I take one more fish? No. <laughs> not the goat. Just the fish. And maybe the... No, I can't do that. All right. Perfect. Give me that. We got ourselves a whole bunch of charcoal. Eight. So now we can at least start with uh, producing some of this, uh, this, this fine copper. I cut down this tree. I need that out of the way. And I'm going to put my... Um, actually, I'm going to put my metal smith over here. So close to this area as possible. Uh, right there. And then I am going to uh, acquire copper ore ten times. Beautiful. beautiful. I'm going to have to ask my people to start building... I'm gonna, no, I'm, I have to get rid of this cherry tree. The cherry tree has to go. And then I also have to get rid of these rock piles. They're in the way. This pile is completely full. Well, kind of quote full. Uh, this one is pretty much full. I need it moved. I need the rock piles out of here. Uh, I need that space for huts instead. So I'm going to put a... Where should I put this rock pile? I'm going to put the storage for the rocks and stuff at, out here. So one there. 
another rock pile storage over there just put everything out there please um and then right now we should be able to build another hut i want the hut a so can you can, can you touch you like rotate you like that i want a hut there facing my hearth i also want a a mortar over here like there and uh yeah that's it because i don't want to build them don't want to build put too many buildings down because that just simply just annoys them and then they won't work at all <laughs> and and i need the metalsmith uh, up and running as soon as possible so what else do we have let's see we have production we have the workshop oh, yeah the workshop is also kind of important outfitter is there i need the workshop because in the workshop we can actually start building some proper stuff <laughs> Um, so I want a workshop as well. I'm gonna have to wait until either the metalsmith or the hut is finished. Because the workshop is quite a big building. And I'm gonna have to be absolutely sure that I have all the materials I need for it. Metalsmith, another point. Like that, we don't need five. We can go for pig domestication and therefore cow domestication. But I don't need either one of those. I need baby... I need baby, uh... Oh, hey, hey, hey. What do we have over here? Ebix. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was. I thought it was a, a mouflon. I, I need a mouflon. I need baby mouflon. That's what I need. I need to get some sheep. I need some sheep. Uh, why don't we? Why don't? Why, the game is making it a bit tough for me to make some wool clothing if I can't get any sheep. Uh, where are all the baby mouflon? Did I kill all the baby mouflon? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's only like male mouflon around this entire map and I just simply just destroyed the entire population because I killed too many of the females. That's a possibility. That'd be a horrible possibility though. Okay, what do we need for these walls? More trees. And I'm going to select all of you for recycling. So I don't need those inner walls. I need those gone. As soon as I have those out of the way, um, I'll get a whole bunch more logs. And I can use those logs for the for the walls. I also need them to also just focus on... Oh, ships. I need to cancel these recycling. Ah, oh, no. Too bad. Too late. <laughs> There's already people working on this. I'd rather have them all working on the fields. But that seems to be going quite well anyway. Uh, they already killed another mouflon. Old male. I need to get rid of these wolves. They're a bit dangerous. Uh Wait, how many wolves do I need? I need... Uh, oh, <laughs> I need a lot of wolves. <laughs> I need 40 wolves to be able to take care of that. To get another point. So let's just leave them alone. Okay, there there we go. All of the materials has been har have been harvested. So that means this, is, this field is gone. I can remove this field. Beautiful. And get some more space there. Can you also harvest this, please? I need to uh, empty the contents and recycle that. And I need to move my flax field out here. So where's my flax? There's my flax. I put my flax field there instead. Excellent. So now I have this area here dedicated to uh, the flax instead. Now I have space here. Expand. And I will, I'll also get rid of these uh, rock piles. Um, this hut is getting built. I just need one more mud. Do we not have any more mud in the river? The river completely devoid of mud. Yes, it is. <laughs> not quite sure how that works, but it does. So it seems to be that the river doesn't have any more mud. It doesn't have any fish either. So I'm going to move the fish thingy as well. I don't usually do this. I usually just leave the fish uh, harvesting area, whatever, wherever I put it. I never leave, I never change it. But yeah, if you can, just do it. All right, so everything here seems to be going quite well. I just need one little more mud. If somebody can go get some mud for me, please. It's there, right there. Just get some mud there. All right, they're using the bridge because it's much closer to the uh, to the copper mine um, than going over that bridge. Excellent. This is all good. I think that we're doing fine. The wall's been removed. Beautiful. And I think that uh, we now have 11 logs again. So that means these walls, because they all take one log each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I need seven logs. 
and I have 11. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty I think I'm, I'm fine. I think I'm okay. I've got some more charcoal coming up. And I have a whole bunch of copper coming up as well. All right, let's go and make some tools. Well, some new tools. I need some copper tools. First things first, let's make some copper spears. So one, two, three. I have, I have six copper bars or ingots at the moment. Let's go make five copper spears. I'm gonna put this in high priority. I'm gonna reduce the priority from you though, like so. So I don't need uh, the crafter that much anymore. So I'm also gonna recycle you because I am going to be building a workshop. And do I already have a workshop? Is this a workshop? That's an outfitter. Okay, never mind. So I want a workshop right here in this corner. Like so. Yeah, bam. Now the workshop is going to give me the, uh, the, the compound bow. It's a better type of bow than the bow that we currently have, which I do not need. Well, I want to replace. So right now we have uh, 13 bows and a whole bunch of spears. Uh, I want to replace these bows with the compound bow. And to do that, I need to get um, the workshop. The workshop is what gives me that option. So with all of that, I think I can chop down these trees now. Go there, chop down those trees. I want these trees here to grow back. They're already coming back, small bits and stuff like that. Eventually this area will be repopulated with trees and we can start harvesting them again. Uh, constantly rotate is probably a good idea. So we need a little bit. Can somebody come and get me some mud? Mud, mud, anybody got some mud? <laughs> There's mud right there. No? Okay, that's kind of a pain. All right, they're making bread again. Good. We've got 28 bread. We've got 18, 18 grain. I need to increase the amount of grain that we are uh, growing. Uh, but I need to get rid of these fields first. So I want to get rid of you, which is... What are you exactly? You are acorn. So let's get rid of you. Let's also get rid of you. Uh, yep. And that was... I think that was emmer. Yeah. So let's put down some more emmer. Like right outside here. So let's get a big field like that. And so we got uh, flax here. We got barley here. We got emmer here. So now we need a field of uh, acorn. So this one. So we'll put another field over. Well, not, mm, not that big. <laughs> a bit too much. Just like, like that. Should be fine. That's a good field. That's a good field of, uh, of acorn. So this little wolf over here, let's go and kill it. Take it out. And I need to start chopping down these trees as well. So I'm going to move you over to here. Because we need the space, not just to expand the village into, because we're going to be expanding in this direction later on, but also because we need these fields to also move in that direction as well. So we need to preemptively start removing those trees. And the hut over here is coming along nicely. We will have six more slots, or is it five? About four more slots in a bit. So then we're going to have 44 people. Excellent. Um, the walls are coming along. Let's speed through this a bit. So what do we need here? We need four straw and two logs. Right, that shouldn't be too difficult to get. Trouble is, I don't... I hope I don't get attacked by any uh, bandits right now. Because I, <laughs> I have some serious gaps in my defenses. Uh... And they can just walk right back in here. I'm going to have to remove these walls as well. Let's recycle you. And you. Trader has arrived. I'm going to take the trader's stuff. So I'm going to take all of your copper ore. And... Ooh, you, got, you, got, you already have copper, but I, I don't need that. This is also very expensive. I don't want to do that. I'm going to take your grain, though. And I don't need your linen cloths. I think I have enough of that. Um, I wish you had wool, though. That would be nice. You have goats. I don't need goats. So I'm going to give you... I'm going to give you a couple of spears. And a fish. Two fish. So there we go. Take that. Perfect. We got, we got some more copper ore. Nice. Now this copper ore is going to give us a whole bunch more tools and more materials. We already have seven, seven copper... So I need to get more of these spears. I currently need... I've already made 
three. I need seven more. I'm gonna put some more spears up there. Beautiful. These copper spears are better um, at killing than our uh, than our usual spears and our blunter, more pointier, stickier uh, flint spears. Uh, but this these copper spears are fine. Let's see, what are we doing right now? We have our space here. I need to get rid of you. Um, I'm going to have to build you. I'm going to build another one of you. So I need some storage. Hay bale thingy. Uh, somewhere right here in the middle. Beautiful. All right, now. Um, this is pretty close to where they attack. But it's still close to the watchtowers. So if this area gets attacked, because they will attack any buildings they come across. These bandits, right? They want to keep your buildings as far away from their strike routes as possible but because this is just a little bit off the bandits should attack my towers first before they start attacking my uh my haystack haystack but as soon as my towers are gone they will destroy my haystack so eh. <laughs> i'm not entirely sure if i'm yeah, okay with that let's go empty out the contents wait we have to wait until this thing's built first as soon as that's built then we'll empty out the, the contents and then we will move this hay from here to there and then we'll be fine so we have 71 hay how much straw do we have in here we got 40 so i need to get um, two more hay bales haystacks i think i need to get another one of these i'm gonna build another one of these storage haystacks here as well to get everything spread out a bit because these things can take a maximum of 40 each and i have 71 so there's a 30 30 stack somewhere, so there's probably in my storage huts, which I don't want. I don't want straw or hay to be stored in my storage huts. Uh, I need them to be stored in the haystacks. That's what they're there for. All right, workshop is built. Beautiful. So now I should be able to make um, the composite bow, but that, of course, I need to research. I need... Ah, uh, that comes in the Bronze Age. All right, well, I'm going to go for donkey domestication though, first. Weapon production knowledge plus two. Beautiful. All right, so this compo composite bow option is coming out later. I'm going to make fishing rods, though. They are way better at collecting, uh, getting fish than the uh, <laughs> bit of whatever we're using right now. What are we using right now? We're using the, the bone harpoon. <laughs> That's totally useless compared to the, the fishing rod. Fishing rod is way better. All right, we need two more logs here and... And one there and one there and then our wall will be finished and then we can start expanding in this direction now did i make a boo-boo and build this thing right in the worst spot possible i think i did i need this wall to go right through here and i think this thing is right in the way <laughs> ah brilliant all right anyways we'll get to that later i need to we have space for 44 people I need to build another one of these houses. Um, I need another one of these residents. The hut. I can build the hut here. I want to build it up here, though. Can I? Can I build you here? Like that. Excellent. I'm also thinking we need another storage hut over here and a a granary. Hmm. Granary is not full at the moment. We don't have like that much stuff, but I think we'll be okay. So what do we have over here as in animals? We can hunt. We can hunt you, little adult male mouflon. And that will be like three meat. Not going to be significant, but we have some more ebix over here. We have some donkeys over here. So what do you have? Young male, young female, young female. So let's go and uh, capture those excellent and uh that will give us a bit more uh donkey protection <laughs> donkey power pretty soon i'm also thinking we should probably start looking into getting some of these uh getting a dolmen so we need to get looking into these megaliths uh megalith there is there anything in megalith and closer by there's one here and i thought i saw one across the water yes here's one and then over there and there. Okay, so we have some megaliths over there, there, there. Um, nothing in this direction. 
We have one. The, the closest one on this side of the river is all the way over here. That's not very, not very convenient. I don't like that. It's a pretty far away. It's, that's not good. <laughs> uh, and never, and never ever. Uh, this game constantly throws some stuff at me, which is kind of annoying. But that's the way it is. All right, so the animals aren't there aren't that many animals at the moment and uh not many of these megaliths a bit of a pain but we can always of course recycle this guy this men here and use that to create another uh, create a bigger uh men here structure which of course will be the uh the dolman it's gotta be a nice one i'm gonna put it right yeah right there <laughs> now you don't need to put it out in your compound but it'll be best if you do uh, because a lot of these people spend most of their time inside the compound or inside your village. So if you have your spiritual structures in your village, then you keep your people a little bit happier that way. And right, now let's see, I need, I need some more points. So I need another skin dryer, two or three of those. I need three skin dryers. I need another crafter, I need a hearth, and I need some more food dryers. So I want to put another food dryer over here. But first, we're gonna let's get rid of these, these walls. So not all of them. Thank you. So you, 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 and you uh, recycle that. And I'm gonna put a, um, a food dryer. That's a weaver. <laughs> I'm gonna put a food dryer here. And I'm gonna put a, uh, a skin dryer right right by it the side there and another one that's a food dryer um a skin dryer there perfect and then let's see if we can't well we'll leave them we'll leave them to it because they already have a hut to build and these three things here as well so they already have their hands full um how's it going with the fishing rod the fishing rod takes linen which of course we don't have uh yeah, we don't have any linen at the moment. We don't have any uh, linen thread. So we need some linen thread. So I'm going to just cancel that. And instead, I'm going to... We do have a lot of sticks and we have a lot of leather. So I'm going to put this in there. So we need three more sledge, sleds. And we can build that. All right, I'm over time. Um, I promised only half an hour, but... <laughs> It became a little bit more. Uh, I'm still wondering. Okay, we have some. We have the mouflon here has been captured, or well, well, slaughtered and killed. Getting a lot of a bit of meat coming in. Beautiful. Where are you going? You're going for the wild donkey, but you have your pockets full of copper and flour. Why? Wow, you are the worst possible subject for this kind of op operation. And you're also going after the wild donkey. Those donkeys are running for high heaven. <laughs> running for the hills. Because this idiot is running around here. You can't capture him that way. He's trying to wear this donkey down. <laughs> the donkey won. <laughs> uh, idiot. Alright, so that's this is wonderful. Let's just put that on faster uh, rotation so that we can get that. So how much space do we have in our stables? We don't have any more wild animals. We still have 10 space, so that means we can get 10 donkeys. Um... I'm thinking that perhaps this area should be used for a couple more of these stables. I need sheep. I need more sheep. I definitely need more sheep. Well, I need to keep my sheep alive as well. All right, we reached 40 population. It means we've got another bunch, bunch of points. All right, the next thing that we want is the wheel. And then I think uh, we are ready. Oh. Of course you died of hypothermia. This is... You, you went out there... Trying to get a donkey, <laughs> not having taken care of yourself. Uh-oh, the donkeys are running all over the place. They're going further and further away. This is not, not good. All right, well, at least they're staying close by, relatively. So I got, I probably have some people around here walking around aimlessly. Well, being an idiot, complete douche. Uh, this person's got no nutrition. And, um, oh, they're kind of getting so much trouble <laughs> but we do have two donkeys which is nice so we either have two females or we have a female and a male which is perfectly fine all right that's it for me i'm thinking this is probably a good stop 
uh, we'll get to the next uh, next episode we'll expand out in this direction start looking for uh, for that mouflon herd get some more sheep in here I need that wool I need that wool to start moving in and I also shit, you've got yourself a disease <laughs> I need that linen as well, so we might have to increase our flax yields as well. Get a bigger field. Anyways, that's it from me. Um, if you enjoyed it, uh, leave a like. If you didn't, leave, leave a dislike, it's fine. And I will see you guys in the next one. Um, so there's there's mouflon here now. Oh, I'm, I'm going to take this mouflon. <laughs> uh, okay, that's, that's kind of funny. I was just talking about mouflon and they were right, right there. <laughs> You got some more sheep. Yes. Anyways, have a nice evening. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.